arms. Legs. Not too bad. Arms are still out a bit, but yep. the reason you buck there is because the arms are out and the legs are up the bum. Yeah, sure. Yep. And then so there's more drag up top, which yep. flattens you that way. Yep. Sure. And then you've relaxed. Okay, we've got the belly. We come to each other. You're a bit higher. It's fine. And then you'll find, as I said, the legs start coming up with the bum when you relax. So the arms are good. You're in a yep. good position here. But just looking at the ground, which is normal, it yep. starts. And then you can see your arms start coming Going back down. and pushing. Yeah, sure. And that's when it started yeah. bucking. Sure, yeah. Bam, now you release them. And then you can see how the legs, when you release the arms, release. the legs went from this position yeah. to now this position. Sure, yeah. Oh, you're just going in and out, but much better. You'll see how you're a lot more faster this time. Yeah, yeah. So it's just going to be able to fight those that habit to try and pull, pull the, the arms, arms up. Sure. And just keeping those legs straight. Yeah, you can really see that arms there, eh? Yeah, yeah. Cool, now you're going down. The legs are good. I was giving the signal legs. And just yeah, start to go. I'm like, yep, shoulder. Yeah. I said shoulder come to yeah, me, but I you've saw... done the wrong shoulder. Yeah, yeah. That's where we drifted away. It's all good. I said straighten again. Cool, now you started catching up again. And then you got there and relaxed with your arms again. Yeah. So that's the thing you sure. want to try and train that braking. Yeah. So if you're in this position here and yep. you're catching up, yep. rather than pulling the arms up to break, think about bending your knees more. Okay. So or get the arms back and yeah, sure. Putting these shins down. So okay. then you're going to look more like. See my position with my yep. legs. Yep. You're going to look more like that. Gotcha. Like I'm breaking a little with the arms. Fucking flopping around. But not a bit. much. You can see there how I move my hand. I'm yep. breaking a little yep. and cupping a little, sure. but not much. It's watching full speed. good it's very good so you can see we're a bit flat at the moment but that's yeah. fine that's why i said we're going to use this and get used to flying fast sure. in this yep and then once you've got that position then we start going steeper got it but there's no point to try and go steeper if yeah. we can't go that one yeah 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 cool you can see we covered a fair bit of ground eh? you can see that yeah. that dis the the gap yeah. here at the bottom of the screen we're definitely moving like we got out over here somewhere yeah now we're over, over this area. So the question you're going to want to be asking yourself yep. is how are my arms, how are my shins? Okay. How are my arms, how yep. are my shins? Sure. And that way, you're, how are my arms? You're questioning, are they here, are they here, are they pushing? Yep. Are they called relaxed? How are my shins? Okay, my shins in the wind. <coughs> are they back? Are they forwards? I feel like I'm just probably t tense here, but when I relax, it just sort of yep. just sits. Naturally? Yeah, it just sits natural and then you can speed up or then you can relax. Okay, so just focus on the arms. Yep. So at the moment we're just building a general position. Yep. We're just building <coughs> the feeling in this orientation. Yep. Um, because okay. you're used to this. Yep. So we get that feeling for a standard sure. gear, yep. as in we learn gear three. And then from gear three, then I teach you gear one, then I teach you gear six Got it. and we learn the whole range but first okay. we need some reference sure and that's the goal for this one I can see. sick <laughs>